Hey everyone, Joey here, and today we'll be installing Gamma OS Next for the Magni Air X. For those not familiar with Gamma OS, it is a custom Android build that is available on a lot of different devices made by Gamma, and it is based on Android 14 Lineage OS. So this does fully wipe your Android device and replaces it with this Android build. Now, what do you get for doing all of that? Well, it's quite a bit. For instance, there is global shader support, which is a system-wide shader, allowing you to have shaders on everything, including your front end. You have better joystick LED controls with multiple colors, effects, and so on. There is a new immersive mode, which provides a more console-like experience because it hides the taskbar and the status bar. We have a system level audio enhancement EQ that helps make the speakers sound better. And there's also some added fixes and improvements overall to the device. Now for the Magmi Air X specifically, there is even more like the updated GPU graphic drivers, fixing the Netflix DRM issues, fixing the refresh rate, which previously was not at 60 Hertz, governor tuning, better battery efficiency, and reducing stutters and latency. This build is currently exclusive to Gamma's Patreon for 60 days, so you will need to subscribe to his Patreon to be able to get the password needed to do the step today. But in 60 days, it'll be free, and so you won't need to do that. I think you've heard enough. It is awesome, let's do it. First things first, if you have been making progress in games and you want to keep your data and your saves, follow my backup guide to back up all of your emulators, your data, and so on. That way you can restore them afterwards since this does wipe everything. Let's head to the Gamma OS GitHub and everything today will be in the description. And there is two builds, full and light. Full includes Google Apps and Play Services, light does not. And so it is slightly faster and more lean. Personally, I don't like not having Google Play, so I'm gonna choose that. But this decision is up to you. If you can't decide, just grab the full version. Don't overthink it. You want to grab each part. So for instance, for full, you can see 001 to 005. Make sure to download all five parts. For light, there is four parts. It's the same thing. Then make sure that you download the two extra files, QPST and the Qualcomm USB driver. Head over to 7zip.org and install it if you do not already have 7zip installed on your PC. Right click the file that ends in 001 of whichever release you downloaded, go to 7zip and then extract here. You're going to be prompted for a password which you can find in Gamma's post on Patreon for the Magni Air X. It is going to extract a folder, just make a note of it for now. Go ahead and install the Qualcomm USB drivers that we downloaded. Right click, extract all, extract, and then open the application to install the drivers. Go ahead and just click next, next, accept, install, and then when it's finally done, finish. Then go ahead and unzip the QPST zipped file. Just right click, extract all. Open the QPST application and click install. Click next, accept, and make note of where this is installing to. For my PC, it's in Program Files x86, Qualcomm, QPST. Then you want to click Next, Next, and Install. And then finally, Finish. Now we need to power off the Magni Air X and make sure that you have no USB cables attached. I would also remove your SD card if you have one in. Go ahead and head to where you installed QPST and open the QFill application. Again, for me, this is in Program Files x86, Qualcomm, QPST, and the bin folder by default. Hold volume down and volume up together on the device, and then insert the USB cable from your PC to the Magni Air X. Keep holding and you should hear a connected sound in Windows. You can let go at this point, go over to select port, and you should see Qualcomm HS USB QD Loader 9008. If you don't see it, Try again making sure the device is off, the buttons are pushed down, and the drivers were installed properly. Also, you can try a different cable or port on your PC. Make sure flat build is selected, and then in Select Programmer, click Browse, 
and you want to select the Prog Firehose DDR Elf file, not the light one. And that is going to be in the Gamma OS Next full or light folder that we extracted earlier from all of those parts. In Select Flat Build, click the Load XML button, and you want to select the raw program underscore unsparse zero dot XML file. Then you want to select the patch zero dot XML file. Head over to configuration, firehose configuration, and make sure the device type is eMMC, validation mode is zero, no validation, and then give it a check mark for reset after download. Don't touch anything else, click OK. Go ahead and click download now to start the flash. Wait for it to say download succeeded and your device is going to reboot automatically. You can now exit QFill. The first boot will take quite a while and you can disconnect the USB cable after you see the setup screen. And that's it. We are now in Gamma OS Next for the Magni Air X. Just go through the usual Android setup. There is a section at the start to adjust the sticks if you want to, otherwise scroll down and continue. Let me take you through what's already pre-installed after all of that before you go off on your own. Now Daijisho as a front end is pre-set up and configured here. And you can start by just putting ROMs in the ROMs folder that is on the device. It is already pre-configured with all of the system folders. So just put your ROMs in the system folder. Now, if you are using an SD card, you will have to add those to Daijisho manually for locations. There are emulators here and they are set up like Drastic, Flycast, M64 Plus FZ, PPSSPP, and Retroarch. And Gamma does have a list of hotkeys for Retroarch on his site that you can check out. You also have the Aurora Store installed, Firefox, and even more. So the bare minimum is here to get you up and running right away. Just add your games and BIOS files and off you go. Now to do some of the stuff that I showed off before in the beginning of the video, it is all from the swipe down menu at the top. So you can turn on shaders, for instance, or you can push and hold and have more options for the shaders. You can also do the same thing with immersive mode. Joystick LEDs are another way. You can push and hold and get a lot more information there and so on. There is a lot here in Gamma OS. And now at this point, you can really just follow any of my setup guides. I would say at this point, you can follow any of my emulator specific ones. So if you want PlayStation 2, you can follow my Nether SX2 guide. If you want any other emulator like Dolphin, you can follow my Dolphin guide and so on and so on. That would be the best way to continue setting up your device past the pre-installed emulators. But if you do want to learn more about those pre-installed emulators, I do have guides on those too. That's all I have for you today. Quick video, get you set up with Gamma and off you go to live your life. As always, big thanks to Gamma for continuing to improve these devices. He does a lot for this hobby and he fixes a lot of devices. So he deserves all of the praise and all of the donations, all of the subscriptions that you can give him. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk all about handhelds like this one. Support me through YouTube membership if you like my stuff. And hope you all have a good one.